I'm Sage Chen, welcome back to another video with some more Minecraft PS4 Bedrock. Today, I'm going to be showing you 20 things to do in Minecraft when you are bored at home. If you enjoy this video and if this was any use or helpful to you, let me know by hitting that like button, go subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, hit that notification bell, getting all the latest info and up to date news with your boy Hey Chen. But apart from that, enjoy the video. Coming in at number one, the first thing that you could do when you go into Minecraft, if you become across a Minecraft village, doesn't matter what type it is, just any village in particular, go across it, have a little loot around it, have a little look, loot its resources, get the hay you can, get the wheat you can, get the beetroot you can, carrots, trade with as much of the villagers as you can. Then as well, you can also go and upgrade one of the houses as well. So if you're looking for somewhere to live for a while, or maybe somewhere to sort of camp out for a bit until you go and continue exploring and survival, you could easily go to one of these places and upgrade the house. Another thing you could do while bored in Minecraft is make your own sheep farm. You can create whatever colors you want, or have the challenge of creating the entire rainbow with each individual sheep being a different color. Or if the other thing wasn't as much for you, you could make yourself your very own type of farm. More specifically, a cactus farm right here. This is only a miniature version of what you could possibly do, but if you're any good at redstone or good with machinery, this should be easy peasy for you. With this, you can basically just farm cactus as much as you want, or if you weren't looking to do cactus or make yourself your own wheat farm, or a sugarcane farm, it could be anything else, doesn't have to be cactus, but with this, you could challenge yourself to see how big you can make your cactus farm or how much cactus you could farm and make sure you have for yourself. Or if a cactus farm isn't really for you, you could also make a chicken farm. All you're gonna need is dirt blocks, water, and then four slabs max. You just have to make a huge square, including to have a chest and a hopper at the bottom, so then when all the chickens lay their eggs or pop their eggs out, it will go through this hopper by the water, so the water will go right through the middle and basically fill up this chest with as much eggs as you want or need, which you can definitely make cakes with or anything else you'd want. The next thing you can do is try and make yourselves as much eye of endo as possible. Reason why is what you could possibly do if you have nothing else better to do, go and try and find the eye of ender. You can either do this in survival or creative right here, but just go and follow the eye of ender to see where it ends up. And if it ends up staying in one place, try and dig yourself down all the way in survival or try end up finding the uh, dungeon right here to see if you can get and defeat Minecraft as quick as possible. Or if you really want to challenge yourself, try and collect in survival or in creative if you want, as create as much of the music discs as you can, or find as much of them as you can until there are 12. You'll have your favorites and you will have your differences of ones, but right here, this will sort of be a fun, interesting thing to do if you are bored and don't have anything else to do. It's an abandoned village right here. You'll have all the resources and food that you need to keep on going if you need it for your horse or for yourself, but you will also might or might not find a horse here with a few little surprises like cats or pigs, sheep and etc. But you will also get the bonus of zombie villagers right here. So for example, this guy right here is stuck in a bit of cobweb. It's coincidentally in the bed. So what you can try and do is challenge yourself to find out how to cure one of these bad guys and make sure to get them turned back into a villager. Or if you already know how to do it with one, get it done with all the others. So then you can change them back so you can trade with them. Another thing you can do, and not a lot of people will agree with, but this is something that will definitely pass the time away, either in creative or survival of your choice, try and take down a whole mountain just by using a pickaxe and whatever else you want. So you can just literally just go mining it just like this and see how long it will take you to mine a whole mountain down. This could either be so you could create your own base. If you're looking for resources, more specifically wood, try and get yourself a challenge of burning down or mining yourself a whole tire of forest of trees. This could be birch, jungle wood, spruce. This could be oak wood. Preferably for me, I'd probably do an oak wood forest where it has a big mix of birch and oak. But after this, you will definitely have plenty of wood and resources to make sticks, campfires, 
wooden tools for anybody starting out on your server or maybe starting some starter kits. This will definitely be useful and will save you a lot of time for a long time. Or if you're even bored just on any Minecraft world and you want to troll somebody or make their world really, really like specifically in a certain area, make sure they don't see you. All you will have to do is just have a bit of dirt blocks, some sand, and two bits of soul sand right here and some water. Dig two blocks deep, add the water in, add the soul sand at the bottom, and all you will have to do is just add the sand in right here and make sure it just goes in like that. And add in a lot, a lot, a lot of sand. Make sure it is plenty because this will lag the world out. Next thing you can do is try and create with potions every single potion that you can literally get. Some examples of these could be a mundane potion, potion of water breathing, splash potion, splash potion of slowness, harming, regeneration, fire resistance and harming all of these right here can be either be found or created it's up to you whether you want to try and collect every single one if you can so if you really really want to challenge yourself try and find a survival island in minecraft and all you'll simply have to do is try and survive on this so if you want to start off by getting some seeds or something or some trees to start a little farm you can more than welcome to but try and survive on a mini island like this with no resources whatsoever or go onto the island right there with plenty of trees whatever the choice it's up to you but i guarantee you it will be a lot of fun and oh look that's a ship over there what are the chances of that another thing you can do in minecraft is go to the closest sea temple that you can find right here and try and drain it with sponges and dirt blocks right here so basically build a huge square around it and simply just drain it with sponges and make it a base this other one doesn't really involve anything specific in minecraft but if you really really have nothing else better to do and nothing of what i've said has basically interested you whatsoever all you're gonna have to do is start a legit minecraft survival world and try and challenge yourself to get all of the trophies that there are possible in minecraft so you can get to the point of the platinum trophy or if none of that is interesting you, you could make your very own execution chamber right here. So this is just a little example with a hole in the ground and right here. So you put whoever you are going to kill or execute player wise in this hole right here. And then all you have to do is literally just stack up a load of anvils up top and then just let go. And there you go, that should kill them. If you're looking for something unique to make, or maybe something just a little bit different, if you are really that bored and creative, I'd probably suggest doing this in, recreate the coffin dancing meme. If you haven't seen it with the music and those guys carrying the coffin, this basically is what it is recreated in Minecraft. So if you want to have a little fun with this, recreate it like that. The thing you can do is, if you come across another village, or if you do come across a village for the first time, if there is a pillage route post nearby, See how far you can get on your own or with your friends doing the pillager outpost, getting all the villagers into the houses nice and safe. The other thing you can do with a village is you could basically make a huge villager farm right here. So basically get them into a big sized box just like this and make sure to have all these things included repeated around the edge of this square right here so you can have any type of villager that you want. So a um, cartography table a blacksmith table right there and this little archery practice table right here so you get villagers sort of like this like blacksmiths and everything like that thing you can do is just make yourself a simple cobblestone maker right here or a cobblestone generator just get a bit of water a bit of lava and there you go you got yourself some cobblestone and last but not least the last thing that you can do isn't really an activity where you have to do much apart from exploring and discovery it might be on your seed or it might not be i don't really know that for myself unless you go and find this out but the last thing you can do is go and find atlantis you make a legitimate survival world once you find remains of atlantis you will get a trophy for it Apart from that guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Apologies if all of these were very simple or basically generic. That's the whole point, because you know stuff to do when you're bored in Minecraft. 
If you have enjoyed, let me know by hitting the like button, go subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, hit that notification bell, get the latest videos and up to date news with your boy HN. Let me know in the comment section if this was helpful and you'd like more videos like this. But apart from that guys, I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one.